Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Timeline tab in DevTools for Chrome. Now, Timeline allows you to get a really in-depth look about how your site is running, the constant frames per second output, uh, screenshots, and just what sort of functions are taking a long time and what sort of scripts might be causing potential jankiness or staggering in the display when maybe you're scrolling or something like that. So let's check it out right now. So in the last video, we dove into the Networks tab. Now we're going to want to check out the Timeline tab, which is another great way to understand how your website is loading from a performance perspective and maybe a little bit different way. So if we click Inspect, uh, I'm using this in a new window. And just like the Network tab, we're going to want to go ahead and reload the page after we select the Timeline. So you'll notice that first off, we have the ability to capture the JavaScript profile, memory, paint, and screenshots. Let's go ahead and at least get screenshots and let's get memory too for that matter. I'm going to leave paint off for right now and let's go ahead and just click refresh. So after the page is refreshed, you'll see we get a lot of information here. Now this might be overwhelming, but what's really super great is that they added these screenshots really recently in here. So now you can see at any given time what your website is looking like. So at 500 milliseconds, 1000 milliseconds, then at 1500 milliseconds, and then at 2000 milliseconds, you can see that all of the images at this point have fully loaded. And then at this point, we can just keep scrolling and, and you can see at this point that the site is loaded. Now, I actually wanna, I'm gonna command Z to zoom out a little bit because this is just taking up a lot of room. But what we can see here in the main thread here is this JavaScript profile. So this really allows us to dive into our loading and see what's potentially causing some issues. So you'll notice here we have this red marker. Now this red marker essentially means that there's an area where we could potentially have some jankiness in our loading. So you can see that this warning, long frame times are usually an indication of jank or poor rendering performance. For instance, if we scroll over here, you can see that the Google Analytics.js is causing quite a bit of time here and maybe one of the reasons for this jank, but since this is a page load, it shouldn't necessarily be something we have to worry about too much. Now, in addition, you can really just get a great idea of what's going on in your site in terms of memory and performance here just by simply diving down into any of these functions and you can see all of which the stuff that it's actually doing here. Because this is a compiled Meteor site, let's actually see what this is looking like on the Level Up Tutorials normal website here. Let's come here and I'm going to inspect. Now let's head to the timeline. Once again, I'm going to refresh the page and you can see that it's going to be loaded up in the timeline now. So now we can see that the timing again, we have some red indicators of jank and poor performance potentially. So let's actually zoom into one of these. We can click on this one and let's scroll into it. And you can see that this whole time is the parsing of the HTML the DOM contents being loaded, it's then calling uh, jQuery and it's taking a long time to load jQuery. And it's not necessarily a long time in the scheme of things, but it's taking up the majority of this, uh, this event here. So if we scroll over here, we can see another event that's taking up some time is analytics. We can come over here and we can see some more things. So what the timeline view is really good for giving you a view about how things are being loaded. For instance, we saw in the network tab that that shattered image that we're using as the background here, uh, it does take some time to load. So for the most of the time, we get all this stuff loading here and then the image comes in. Well, what's one way that this could look better before that image comes in. Well, simply having a purple background instead of having a white background here would make this loading process look quite a bit better while this image still loads. Now, we have this sort of view here, but if we select this view 
and let's uncheck this one up top under our views. We can now see this in sort of like the timeline where you can see how your site's loading in scripts and what sort of scripts and evaluations are taking a long time. And in addition, if we were debugging something that potentially had a JavaScript line that was causing a lot of problems, it would be very obvious through our timeline profile that this particular JavaScript file was taking too long or maybe it was stuck in some sort of perpetual loop or something like that that was causing some slowness on our site. So the timeline tab is really one you want to spend a lot of time in, not just for really understanding your website, but understanding what all is available here. Because this timeline tab is really one of the most important important tools to understanding general performance on your website and that's in terms of not loading time necessarily but actual runtime so how the site's performing in terms of frames per second how it feels to your users uh, jankiness and stuff like that in addition if we ever want to record maybe like a page transition or something let's come over back to our level up tutorial store I'll show you this if we inspect this uh, and instead of just refreshing the page on timeline we can actually click this record circle right here and now it's going to start collecting events so we can trigger this change we can trigger this change we can trigger this change and if we noticed any weirdness or jankiness in any of this stuff now if we come back here press the record button again it's going to retrieve our events right so it captured all of that information. It captured all of those clicks. And what's really great is that we can see these issues, these areas where our frames per second rate is dropping. So over here in the top right, you see we have 30 FPS and 60 FPS. And you want to get most of your events to be below this 60 FPS line. Uh, now, a lot of times, like right here, when we selected an entirely new page, you know that maybe that's not going to happen because it's changing pages. But we do want to keep make sure that that is in the forefront of our ideas when we're sort of looking at this to try to find what exactly is taking a long time. So here we can see that things are sort of taking a little, we're recalculating styles, updating layer, recalculating styles. Okay, nothing sort of crazy. But then we have this event, this mouse click, right? And this event is looks like it's taking up a little bit of time. And it's time where nothing's going on here. So we have all this sort of empty time and then function calls are happening. So what is going on here? Well, if we actually click this, it opens it down a little bit. We can make this a little bit larger here. So what this click is doing is it's essentially loading all of this information. So now that we've opened up this event click, we now have access to all the things that's happening inside of this event click, including loading an entirely new page. So this click was triggering a new page load, which is primarily where most of this time is being taken up. And then we have to recalculate the styles with the new styles, redo the layout, update the layer tree, repaint the site. So these clicks are in fact new page loads and like I said, may dip below 60 frames per second. So that's good that a lot of these other things like let's say if we click on this bar right here, you can see this page click opens up a new page. So you're recalculating a lot of styles doing the new layout stuff. But what's really nice about this is like I said, if you had a particular function or a particular thing that you were doing uh, in your site and it was causing a lot of performance issues, it would make itself very apparent here by taking up a lot of time, clearly dipping your frames per second way below that 30 frames per second. You'd probably be seeing a function call here that's taking way longer than you would expect. In future videos, I'm going to purposefully sabotage some code so that we can actually see exactly what you'd be seeing inside of this timeline view. But for now, just know that this timeline view offers you an in-depth look about the actual performance of your website that's running as it's being rendered by the browser. And then the network tab is giving you a lot of information about how your files are being loaded. So between these two tabs, you should be able to have a lot of tools to really sort of figure out if there's issues in your code or in your assets that are causing your site to be slow. So like I said, we're going to dive into a lot of these things a bit more as we start to tear apart our code, we start to make improvements, and we start to take care of bugs that are the most common in terms of causing performance issues on your site. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.